welcome to um, Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Yes. Uh, episode 127. And um, it's a, a strange one this week. Um, we've done a, we've done a um, an unplayed on this console before. But I feel that the segment that I had on the wheel was more for... Um, the other Neo Geo. But the emulator that I use doesn't seem to like the games that I thought I had for it. So we're doing a Neo Geo Pocket and um, we're kind of just wiping up the rest of the games that we've not played before, I guess. Uh, so um, so I think looking Looking at the Neo Geo screen, it looks kind of square, so we could be playing this on the Game Boy screen, um, which means we need to sort of boop across to the arcade and um, see how we get on with tonight's selection. Yes, let's do that now, then, shall we? Boop. There we go. So, if you look, look over here. Um, this is, this is the Neo Geo Pocket. Um, and we've got a selection of games. We've got, there was a, a colour version and there was a black and white version. So we've got a selection of games. Um, I'm hoping they're mostly colour. For, just for aesthetic reasons, really. Um, so, yes. Some of these games I'm a little unsure of. One of these games is an English translation of a Japanese game. So, and one of them, well, two of them, perhaps a bit suspect. And I think we've got at least one sports game. Oh, oh the pain, the pain. Um, but we're going to start with the translation. Uh, primarily because it begins with C, which is quite near the top of the alphabet. Uh, so this is a um, this is a Japanese game, and it's a Japanese game called Cool Cool Jam. So let's get you kind of let's see what happens when I click on that. Yes, it goes down and to the right. That's so how. If I push it up and to the left. When I click that, I think we're in. Okay, so. Maybe we should check our game controllers first. Oh, I seem to recognise that guy. Have we played this before? Or have we played it with a guy who looks similar to it? I guess we're going to find out. I guess we're going to find out. Okay, so I need to put my monitors on top so I can see whether the uh, the music's still coming through. So ever since I updated my software, it's acting weird. Well, that's not an English translation, is it? Oh, let's see what happens. Maybe it's these. Oh, this was the first word that came up, wasn't it? So let's let's join us and see. Yeah, it did say it was a translation. It lied. It lied. Well, let's go go tits up. Oh, whoa there. Well, that's obviously put your name in, isn't it? Where's end? Checking it's the one at the bottom. 
Oh, can't get off the screen now. Oh, there we go. Well, what a poop start. All right, something to do with two lazy lions would be my guess. How are we going to a club to see Lazy Lion? But it sounds like something exciting is going to happen in a minute. typing to get through okay okay we starting the game properly now this is going to be a lot of dialogue in it a lot of dialogue I'm supposed to be doing something. I think we're probably going to stop this game now. So if I don't do anything, does it still do it? No. Right, wait. I think, do I, am I? <laughs> I think I'm pressing the button when it comes through, but why, oh, there's an awful lot of not doing anything after that, isn't there? I'm not sure I controlled her then. Him, it. Kill that, shall we? Let's move to our next game. Oh, oh could not start because the ROM file could not be found. What? What? A few minutes later. We're going to play, and I think we've played it on a different system, in all honesty, but we're going to play um, Cotton. Um, hyphen fantastic night dreams I think we've played it on the Mega Drive it's 
So this is from um, this is from a trained ROM, and I suspect I've just inadvertently given myself infinite lives because I didn't know what I was doing when I started it. Um, but we'll see. Oh, I do recognize this. Don't know what the little fairy behind me is doing. It's not helping though, is it? Oh no, oh no. Don't land on the bad guy's head. That's all I can tell you. Now, the thing is, how am I gonna get around to shoot it? I'm not. That's the answer, I'm not. Not noticed my lives going down, so maybe I, yeah, I have done infinite lives. But that just means we get to see more. Oh, do I, now that fairy is doing something now, isn't it? Getting extra shooties. Oh, why didn't he not shoot it? <sighs> right, do I avoid the musical notes or do I... Um, do I get them? Oh, blue one. Guess one of them's... Oh, 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 oh. I'm just going to shoot some out in a minute, innit? Oh, how am I supposed to get past them? Who? Because there's no way of getting out of that. Oh, I can't touch him. So how, how am I supposed to get through that? Or am I just supposed to waste lives till I... Oh, oh my God. There is a way through because I just did it inadvertently. Too good to happen twice. Oh, come on. I'd collect more just standing still. like I'm yep I was gonna say I feel like I'm avoiding musical notes Oh. 
Oh, down, down, down. Oh. Where do we need to be? Where are we safe? I don't know where I need to shoot him. <laughs> I have to shoot him in the face. Nope. Oh, am I shooting the... Do I need to shoot the balls? No, it is. I'm going to shoot his face. at all. Oh, it's giving me thumb ache. get um, boss levels quite quick, don't you? Regularly, maybe I should say. It's only a matter of time. I mean, they know where I am, don't they, those arms? They fly out at wherever I am, so I need to... I need to move. Go! Shouldn't go underneath him. I feel if I was training it, I should have bloody put auto fire on or something. Come on, he can't have much left in him. Oh! Oh! Oh, now then. Didn't know you could do that. Oh, now the head. God damn it, giving me head like that. Go! seem to be not too bad at avoiding them that direction I just can't handle them coming the other direction for some reason I mean, it's safe to say that I would never have got through this with the normal amount of lives.
Yo, fuck off. Come on, Skeletor. Leave me alone. Fatal move with that. Fatal. And then by the time I come back, he's facing the wrong direction for me to get him. God, it's a bloody nightmare, this guy. And it's flashing. I'm in it. I am hitting him, but <sighs> oh, you have to shoot him in the back of the head. So each press of the button gives you three shots. And now we're playing scramble or some such, aren't we? Oh, yeah, we have to shoot them. How are we going to get through them? Oh, we're going to go backwards. Great. Another boss baddie. Ooh, ooh. So we need to be high up for this one, don't we? Oh, no, maybe not. So we need to be here for our bombs to land. Too busy concentrating on bombing him. Like he's got a red brow on his head. Oh! I'm sure I'm using the right strategy, but I'm just not concentrating. me with his balls. So I need to get him over this direction. Can 
we destroy these? Yes. But we need to bomb them. Never good when that happens. Right, I have to avoid them because I can't kill them by the looks of it. to a face. Unlimited lives, I could just sit and play this. I, we, we should probably move on. Um, so let's uh, let's depart from Cotton, fantastic night of dreams, um, and move on, shall we? Okay. It's uh, quite annoying. I have, can't find this ROM either, and I suspect I may have had a tidy up of the of the ROMs um, and not put them back in at all. The ROMs that I've picked for tonight going to do this. <laughs> um, Becky's version. Okay, so. I'm going to play a game that comes in two different ROM two, there's two different ROMs. It's called Dive Alert. And we're going to be playing Becky's version. Because why not? We can always play Dive Alert, the other person's version next time. Um boom. Here we go. Again. No idea what I'm supposed to expect here. It's Becky's version, let's stay as Becky, shall we? Select your nav come. Should we have a cute animal? It's 
select a sob. Ooh. That's an irritating noise in the background, isn't it? There we go. Eep! Oh. Becky, not happy. Go home. What would the conversation be like if I'd have picked a human as my navcom? You're not the last Becky because Dave's got a version or whatever, Mike. There's another version. So you're not on your own. Don't worry about it, tank girl. A lot of, lot of story. Is it, uh, is it uh, an RPG? Or is it just story with the game attached? Must go to Terra. Eep Trala. What's cheer? What, what noise is that? Cheer. Yes, let's let's start the game and find out where the signal is coming from. You can't stop the signal. Go to position X. Okay, let's go. I've just fired at it. Shit. Oh, stop. Stop firing. No, stop it. How do I, how do I, how do I make it go forward? Oh, perhaps I'm doing it. It's coming towards me, so maybe. It was just slow picking up speed, that's all. Okay. We're we gonna run into it. Oh look, it's all been blown up. Somebody shot it out of the water. Who would do such a thing? How do we help them? Oh, it's so much chatter, so much chatter. We're coming to help you. There's no response, they're all dead. Whole density is chair, apparently. <sighs> V 
feels like we've not even properly started the game yet. Right, let's do it. Auto men. Auto men. Nothing to do with the Ottoman Empire, I imagine. Yes, let's get this over with. Kill Auto men. Yes, okay. Boxes, don't I? Oh, where did they all come from? Don't feel there's a way to avoid these. You just have to get hit by them. Still a few left. Oh, that's why I was able to shoot a load of them. They're not moving as fast as normal. What have I done? <laughs> yep, we toast. God, there's a whole bunch of them now. Susie, Sally, Sally Suez. I thought I nearly said Susie Suez then. Should have been Susie Suez, shouldn't it? Frank, Frank, Frank Fitz. <sighs> I 
I hope you're all reading along at home. Oh, God's sake. I mean, I guess nowadays you, this would be like a cutscene or something and it'd be animated and all that sort of stuff. But you never had a cutscene on... Oh, you actually, I was going to say you never had a cutscene on Pac-Man. You kind of did in between levels. Well, I'm starting to feel we might have come to the end of our time with Dive Alert, Becky's version. So my only consideration is I don't want to get into the cycle of going well this is a bit lousy or this is a bit rubbish because then I don't know what any of the other games are and it could be that I'll end up doing that all night and I don't want to do that I want to give them all a fair chance but I am conscious that you want to see some, some cool retro game in action and I don't feel this is it universal signal for I'm giving up I'm done um, that was Dive Alert or part of Dive Alert or maybe the first just part of the story of Dive Alert Becky's version now maybe if we come back to this another time we might watch the other guy's version whatever that may be um, but not today not today um, so I'm going to locate the next one and we're going to have a look at a game. Oh, I wish I'd checked these before. I really wish I'd checked them. Um, we're going to look at a game which could be a sports game. Could be... I'm a bit nervous to suggest it, but could be... It's called Dynamite Slugger. Oh, yes, there's a picture of a baseball on there. God damn it. God damn it. Um, okay. Okay. Well, well, we knew it was going to be a weird night, didn't we? Didn't we just? Uh, okay, so you'll, you'll want the screen to see how badly I play baseball in Japanese or whatever we're doing. Um, Dynamite Slugger. Yeah, music's still coming through, so let's uh, let's hold our breaths and give it a go. Well, I'm going to make an exhibition of myself, so let's do exhibition, shall we? Yes, man, man against CPU, not person. I'm just leaving them all as they are because I have no bloody idea. <laughs> wow. 
okay. Can we? Uh, so, oh, select a starting picture. Right, gotcha. Well, I'm assuming Elo and Aro is left hand, right hand. But what's the what's the number? Is that a fast? Is that a fast throw? Should we go with Hawk, who's got a high number? Oh, I, that's fine. Let's start with that. So my, the only saving grace is that this, this console, this console only has two buttons. Um, I, and am, am I batting? Am I? I think I'm batting. Oh, too early. So yes, I am batting. Oh, referee! What if I press the button? Will that does that strike a different way? No. Oh. Wow, broken kneecaps. Jong Ho, Wu Jun. So, how do I pick how I. I was going to say, how do I pick how I throw the ball? Because on the Clicker Vision with the Super Controller, you may remember showing me, uh, showing you it. A perhaps a year ago now, um, there was a way of doing different spins on the ball, even back then. So, what I've been doing, what I tried then was... Um, trying up and down on the pad while I um, did because when I did left I hit him so that was up that was down and he hit that all right so boo boo Okay. So do we change? No, don't change the match yet. Gonna catch, gonna catch. No, I can't catch. It looked like one of their guys was st stood behind me on the bloody pitching mound then. I'm going to stop messing around. I'll just straight down the middle. You see, I don't get to choose who I'm throwing them back to either. So I'm at the mercy of the computer. But unsurprisingly, I'm getting my ass whooped. Who would have thunk it? Alright, see if we can hit the ball on the... Do I choose to run? No, it runs itself. Okay. Don't have to worry about that then.
Whoa! Shy talk. Didn't get any chance then. Sheesh. I think we'll do one more one more session of batting after we've done this bowling and then we'll um, call it a day oh why did that guy move instead of oh they all run Jackasses. Stupid game. So why did he chuck it back to the catcher rather than the the place where the guy was running into? Sake. There's three guys in a triangle and you have to throw them. But you have to make sure the right one's running for what you want to pick up. Bloody hell! You could have caught that instead of running around like a knobhead. Tell you trounced. Can we get at least our run? Whatever they call it. Ah, oh, he's playing with me on game. 
Get in there. Are you running? Are you running? Go on, just run automatic. Are you only running one one base at a time? Oh, gone. Oh, it's high, it's high, it's gonna catch it. Oh, do they all get out? I didn't know that. Well, there you go, look. There are lots of other things that you can do. Look, it's telling me I can replace my picture or my fielder or whatever I want, but, but I'm not. I'm going to click on the red X instead that makes it go boo. That was uh, that was Dynamite Slugger. Um, so, we're going to move from Dynamite Slugger to... Um, a game that I don't know how to pronounce. In all honesty, I'm going to have a crack at it, obviously, because I need to tell you what it is. Um, but it's uh, a game called Fazley, Fazley, Fazley. Well, that was English. I don't know what else is going to happen, but um, Fazley, maybe. With a vaguely 80s radio soundtrack. And it lets you press a button to get rid of all the stuff you're going to need to know. Great. Oh, poop. This. This looks like it could be. King Hamir, King Hamir of London. And now we're in Istar. Istar or Ishtar? Oh, here's me, here's me enjoying the graphics of this game and not getting you a window. And Naughty Cluster's not here to remind me to get you a window, is she? It's a good job I remembered myself and didn't start playing it. What a pickle we would have been in. You never know, it might be absolutely crap. And then you'd be glad, you'd be glad that you missed the first couple of minutes. But I'm not restarting it. Especially as it's asked me to put a name in. And I suspect it might be an RPG. Oh, what a horrible noise. Well, you never know. I might be restarting it if this doesn't change. Right, why did it just stop? There's no change in the screen. But now we've got proper like blips like you'd expect. <sighs> okay, anyway. Hello, I'm Chap One. Pleased to meet you. Oh, poop. Right. I'm not doing that. He's walking there himself.
men I wish it would um Stop talking and just be a game. Woo! Let's go. Oh no, there's a vibe bro trap. Is that right turn? Is it? Is it right turn and then fall forwards? Right turn. Fall forwards. Okay. It's like programming a bloody big track. Forward, 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 WW. Forward, forward, forward. WW2. Okay. Well, it's not even in front of it. Is this how we're doing all of it? By having to remember. Oh, well, that's not good, is it? Thanks for the memories. Hope I don't have to remember all this because I ain't remembering it. I ain't paying attention. Nah, oh, I'm, I'm left on my own. Oh, no. Forward. Left turn. Forward. Back. Left turn. It is, it's like just, it is programming a big track. Is it going to pick up that box? It is, right. Yeah, but where am I supposed to go? There's no way in the top right. <sighs> it's alright telling me to program a big truck, big track, but let me have the bloody... Find if we've got rid of the mines or not.
Is that my gun? Is that one of mine? Let's move away from it and see what happens. I don't think it is. Is there a finish? What what does that one do? What do you reckon? It's a it's a, a, a item maybe. Let's select it and see what happens. Oh yes, it is. Okay. Um. So if we've got right turn, what's RL? Oh, pick something anyway. Relaunch maybe. Gotcha, don't want to do that then. Well, let's just fire some more bullets around. Okay. So, where do I need to be now? Did it say I can select the op oh, no option? Okay. Huh. Where no said top right, didn't it? Left, forward, forward, right, forward. Okay. Right turn. Shoot, shoot. Well, you didn't shoot, shoot. Stay there, you little bastard. not shooting have I got no missiles left oh maybe maybe I've got no missiles left so it just reload everything Just wanna, just wanna shoot. I don't want to. Um, what's what's BC? Is that back away? Red tanks. I'm not seeing any red tanks. But now I know that I can go forward. And I'll probably shoot, although what's the point in shooting them if there's trees behind? Ah, does he mean those red tanks? Right, okay. It's a bit of a bloody nightmare controlling it like this. I just want to walk around and... 
tube stuff. Uh, it's a right turn, Clyde. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, I've had enough. Not sure. I'm a big fan. Uh, and now we're we gonna have um, another weirdo, weirdo one that I've got no idea what it is, um, because it's in Japanese. So you're gonna have to, as always, forgive my pronunciation as we take a look at and I'm guessing it's pronounced Gambari Gambari Neo Pokekun Pokekun don't know but it might even just be pronounced Gambe ooh Gambe Rawr. Probably won't be though. Okay, it's gone straight in, so let's let's get you a screen so you can be as nonplussed as I am. All right, here we go. There's um some sort of creature. And he's... is he exercising? Oh! Well, we're not playing this for very long, are we? Right, I think I'm controlling that hand. Oh, I thought I was. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Oh, right, so I... Uh, uh, oh, turns the light on and off. Left writes love in the top left-hand corner. Don't really know what down... Down makes him agitated. Oh, there's somewhat, there's somewhat red. So when I do down, it does somewhat red. And Bright does the hand thing. So, how, how do I... Right, so that button makes that happen. So, if I click... But all I've got is just... A button that makes me exit. Like that. And how do I make him go to the bathroom? Well, we picked yes last time. Should we pick no and see what happens? Nothing discernible. So, where is he going? The existential question. And also, he looks like some sort of insect. And yet, he's got a, a bikini poster of a, ostensibly a human. <laughs> oh. 
Well, my ghast is truly flabbered. Um, oh, oh, I thought he was going to the bathroom then, of his own vol volition. So every time I press the action button, somebody comes in through the door. It looks like. You see, that man never came out of the bathroom. So, okay. I don't understand what's this. So none of, none of these do anything. Oh, now he's got something different in his hand. So the nearest I can think is like a Tamagotchi or something, like a virtual pet type thing, but I can't see any dials or information to tell you how he's doing or what or if you're doing the right thing. I think we're going to have to, um, we're going to have to move on. There you go, um, Gambari Neo Pokekun, Pokekun. Uh, yeah, there he goes, off into sunset. <sighs> wow. Okay, well, look, I'm conscious the time's got away with us for some reason. What have we played most? Cotton. Fantastic night of dreams. That's that's where we're going. So we've got we we've got three left on the list, but I'm um, I'm thinking we might end up only playing two of them because I have to find each one. Oh, God damn me tidying up! I it's how annoying! How annoying! Okay, so last time we did. Um, unplayed Neo Geo Pocket. We did Metal Slug first mission. And this time we're going to take a quick look at Metal Slug second mission. Falls into the never been played on the show before quite nicely. And we should have some idea of what's going on because we've played part one. Nice and easy to read. Big letters, like that. Metal Slug, second mission. Let's play a cute red-headed minx, shall we? And a button that gets rid of the story. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Okay, what have we got? Shoot button. Jump. Heavy machine gun. Pineapple. Did that say pineapple? Pineapple. 
raffle. Heavy machine gun. Missile pot. Ooh. Missile pot. Oh, that looks nasty, that, doesn't it? Looks like we should be avoiding them. We don't, um, we don't set fire to the, uh, <laughs> prisoners of war. It's, it's bad PR. I well we're retrying that aren't we do I need to open my parachute nope why am I why why is that happening is it because I get hit don't need to avoid that Oh, I didn't avoid it. Wow, oh, what's happening? It gets me before I can... Oh, 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 oh. Right. I wasn't using my jetpack, was I? And once you go off the bottom of the screen, you die. Whoa! Pineapple. to go to there, to go to there, to go to there. Oh. Shit, I didn't think I was going to get that. Did I just knife that guy in the neck then? Heavy machine gun. Ooh, what happened there? So there's uh, <laughs> some explosive there that I need to avoid, isn't there? Heavy machine gun. Oh. 
Oh yeah. Die straight? Really? Come back, come back, come back, come back. Lost them, I've lost them. Mine. Mine, no, it's mine. Oh, can't get out. Is there a way through? No. I have to go. No, instead. I'm not quite sure if I'm supposed to be following these or if they're leading me astray. Oh, now. Now then, what's going on here? Nope. Nope. How are we going to do this? Is that a way through there? There we go. Seems to, I don't know, it seems to suggest. Yeah. Oh. Well, it feels like we're playing um, James Pond. died uh, look I mean we've played some Metal Slug before and I, I quite enjoy it I do quite like Metal Slug um, but there you go that was uh, Metal Slug for um, obviously for the Game Boy Game Boy? Neo Geo Pocket Colour <sighs> um, right so um, look we're going to play our final game tonight we, I know I said there was two, but there's not any more. There's only one. And it's going to be Rockman Battle and Fighters. Now, I know enough to know that Rockman is the original name of Mega Man. So, assuming it's the same IP, which it's by Capcom, so we're... we're, we're meh, meh. Promising. Let's uh, let's get you a window. And um, pop you a little bit of Rockman before we go. Now, obviously, we all know that Mega Man and Rockman rock hard. <sighs> and it looks like it might be in Japanese. Rockman! And the fighters. I feel we may have played an English version of this. We're just going to take the first options because what are we expected to do? We have played this. We've played this. I can't remember what I'm, but we have played it.
don't have any moves though. I've only got, I've only got jump and fire. It does seem to fire him a little bit. even have like a double jump. Oh, I'm losing, aren't I? Kel, sir, freaking prees. So a bit, bit of extra thumb action. Always works. Um, so, what, Rockman? And I guess we fight different people? Oh, and we get more. Okay. How do we make that work, though? Is that a nice climber? Right. evil those things aren't they look look out look how quick he killed to me Yes, that's the problem, isn't it? Once he starts firing, he fires in the same direction, mostly. So I need to get to the other side of him. It's all very well telling me I've got a new weapon. You have to tell me how to use it. Ah. Wow, vicious. Vicious and nutritious. I mean, he said it was ice slicer or something, didn't it? So. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Well, look. I think we're done for tonight. Boom. And I, I, I mean, I hate to jinx it, it's only the end, but no audio problems either. Wow. Wow. 
Um, so it's that time of the night. You know what time it is. It's time for the wheel. There she is, the wheel. Um, so let's find out. Let's make sure we've removed um, Neo Geo Pocket because I think we've played all the playable games that we're going to play. We even played some unplayable games. Um, yes. Okay. Let's see what we're doing uh, next week. Ooh, okay. Oh, is it stopping? It's stopping. Time travel! Oh, this is another one like, um, like monkeys we did a couple of weeks ago. Um, where we're going to have a, a directory with games in that have some sort of time travel link. Um, I've actually got more, more games than I can fit in one show. So we're going to split them up. So they've either got some sort of time-related uh, mechanic or they have time in the title and involve time travel of some description. Whoo! So join us um, in 1997 for that episode um, or next week. So... It's that time. It's time to go. Um, thank you for all the live watches. Thank you if you're watching on YouTube. It's super appreciated. Um, if you want to email us, you can. Retro at stockradio.co.uk. Retro at stockradio.co.uk. That's the website. Stockradio.co.uk. Mostly about uh, the, the, the mothership um, podcast, The Snug. Um, but... There's also, uh, we're on, um, well, YouTube, you know, if you're watching us on YouTube, we're on As Snug Radio. Um, but we're also on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok and Twitch, which if you're watching us live on Twitch on a Monday at seven o'clock, then you know that too. But we're everywhere as Snug Radio. You can find us as Snug Radio. Um there's usually something else I say before I get onto the design shops, isn't there? Oh, there's the Discord. You, there's the Discord. You can go to the Discord. There'll be a link. Wherever the notes are for this video that you're watching, wherever you're watching it, there'll be a link for the Discord. We we put it everywhere. So, um, I think that's it for show notes type stuff. Please um, do all the normal things. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends. Share it, share it on Facebook or you know, or TikTok or whatever or, or Twitch, uh, Twitter, Twitter. That's the one I was thinking of. Share it on Twitter and all those sorts of things. Um, oh, see, see that right? Ring the bell, subscribe, and do all those sorts of things. That'd be nice. That'd be super nice. Um, comments, you can comment under the video. That'd be super as well. Um, so Nutty Cluster Extraordinaire, no. See, it's late. Uh, Nutty Cluster, moderator extraordinaire, who's having issues. We talk about this every show, but she's consistently always trying to be there as a moderator. Um, but she moved and she's got shit internet. Uh, but she has a design shop and she would love you a billionaires in the audience because you don't have to be eccentric anymore. Just a normal billionaire would do. We're, we're not fussy. We're not fussy. In fact, millionaires would probably do too. If you've just had a big lottery win and you're looking to make somebody very happy, then buy a load of stuff from her shop. It's called Ink Inspiration and it's on Redbubble. And she does, um, well, at the moment, a top selling range are Taskmaster inspired uh, designs, including quotes from the show, the top rated show, Taskmaster. Um, so it's worth checking out if you're a Taskmaster fan. New season starting soon, so there'll be a whole new raft of merch coming out. But uh, if you want an in joke, then uh, that's the place to go. Ink Inspiration um, at Redbubble, and the, again there'll be a link in the show notes. And once you've been there and you've still got a little bit of money burning a hole in your pocket, I've got a design shop as well. 
It's called The Glorious Idiot. And uh, we've just been uh, packing out. Um, we, <laughs> but I've posted every day or every other day this week on either Facebook or Instagram. Uh, we've got stained glass rock stars. We've got stained glass Hogwarts. And we've got our um, Outlook from the Shining um, carpet design, which really looks good. I'm super pleased at how it looks on all the stuff. I really am. Um, so if you'd like to buy some stuff from there as well, that would be great. And it would help us keep the show going. I know a lot of people say it keeps the lights on, but we've got solar panels for that. So, you know. Um, but I think that's everything. So, without any further ado then, it's time to say, I've been Math. This has been Stug Radio's Retro Lounge. Till next time, play something retro. Bye.